Hey, Connor here at Never Sink Farm. How you doing? I want to talk about hook and wicket with cucumber. I've used all kinds of methods. I've used roller hooks. I've used just a string. And there's always a problem with cucumbers, right? You're either going to do it up and then down. And then it's just difficult when you try to start going down again. And then everything just becomes a mess because cucumbers get longer than the trellising support. You know, I've seen people actually do it like tomatoes where you get up on a ladder and start lowering. But for cucumbers, I think that's a no-no because it's just so inefficient. But the hook and wicket takes care of lowering and trellising really, really easy. Because you know when you do it on a string, you've got to tie it on the bottom or clip it and then wrap it. And then still they slide on the string a lot. It, it just, it doesn't work out really well. And it's a lot of work. Um, so let me show you the hook and wicket so you can see how easy it is. And uh, uh, to get the right size hook, you just check out the website and there's a diagram that shows just for cucumbers. Because a cucumber, it's a longer hook because you don't want to tie a string on it like you do with tomatoes because the cucumber will just become entwined in the string and it just becomes kind of a headache. So you use a longer hook. And I let the cucumbers grow on the ground uh, just until they can at least reach the bottom of the hook and then I lift them up. Okay, so I'm going to do that now. Oh, not that one. Okay. So I have this one and then I just put the clip on. Just and, and anywhere really works with cucumbers. So I just put it like right under the leaf and that's it. All right, and then as they grow, I put a second clip on. right up here to hold them. As they grow, right, right about when they, you want a nice working height, so you don't want to get them too high. But as they grow, we're going to start lowering them. And as these get bigger, I'm going to shoot and add to this video and you get to see me lowering it. But for now, this is how we get it started. We're just going to lift them up. All right, so I'm going to show you again. Long one here. All right, so there's no swirling around with a string. There's no getting on a ladder. And then when I lower them, we're gonna lower them straight onto the wickets. So they're gonna be laying down on the wicket and you're gonna be able to see all of the cucumbers and they'll be off the ground. Cause you know, when cucumbers get on the ground, they, they turn like half yellow, which is no good, right? Especially at market, you know, they don't look so nice. So this way with the wickets, we're keeping them all off the ground rather than trying to lower them or maybe lean them or something. Um, so that when we lower them, right, we're just gonna take the clip off that's near the bottom. And then as we lower them, we're gonna lower them right over the wicket. You see that? And then we take the top, you know, whatever's extra and clip it on. I'm gonna show you that as soon as they get longer. But right now we're just gonna set them up, uh, which is really, really easy. And the infrastructure is the same for hook and wicked tomatoes. It's just that conduit. So there's just conduit up top that I just connect and put over the trusses. It's very, very simple. And since we're not lowering and leaning them, right? You just have a straight, you know, it's just pulling straight down. It ain't nothing. So it's just incredibly fast and efficient. It's just so easy and, and makes life so much easier with cucumbers. All right, so I'm just going to finish setting up the house and you're going to come back and I'm going to show you as we go taller what this is going to start to look like as we get the cucumbers get bigger, right? We already started to have cucumbers on here. Remember, I hope you're taking the cucumbers off down near the bottom, right? It's going to create a healthier plant and right about here is when we start to let them grow. All right, so let me discuss the equipment. The hook is longer than a tomato hook. Uh, what you want is you want the hook to be at least five inches or more above the wicket so it doesn't get in the way of the wicket when you're moving it. We, you know, I have wicket risers, so if you wanted to use a, a higher 
wicket, like up to here. And that means your cucumbers are higher and you're harvesting from a higher position, which is really, really nice. And I actually might start doing that, but that's a new product because I wanted to raise them. Then still, you just want it to be able to clear, right? So in my house with the 71 inch hooks, I still clear even with the wicket rises. That's really the key is you want to be able to clear but you want to be able to get the cucumber onto the hook well. But I have a chart so that you can look at. So it's usually going to be a much longer hook than the tomato hook. But you don't need as many because, uh, you know, tomatoes grow for the entire season. So if you have 300 tomatoes, you need 300 hooks. For cucumbers, you know, they're, we're only growing a couple beds at a time and then we keep replanting them. So we don't need as many hooks. Now for the wickets, just like with tomatoes, you want a minimum of like 20 inches apart. And as I said, you can use the wicket risers or not. So I put up the, the hooks first and I put them up above each plant. And my spacing on here is two by two gritter, which is 15 inches. So every 15 inches I have a, I plant a cucumber plant. When we go to getting higher, you can easily use three clips or continue to use two, right? So as it grows, right, you can easily just take this one off and put it up here. If you have a lot of cucumbers and it's heavy, you can switch to using uh, three clips. And as it gets longer, I'll show you that. You can make the decision. 